Welcome to another pixelforlife.com video tutorial. In this lesson we're going to learn how to use the Photoshop pen tool to create a glow. Um, basically we're going to use uh, create a spiral glow going around this guy and then up over here to his arm. And it's really not that hard to do um, once you know the techniques so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing to remember when doing this is that the technique works best on a darker background, uh, meaning more saturated colors, um, usually dark grays, dark uh, purples, dark greens, stuff like that, all dark colors. So I have a black and white image here, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'm basically first going to go to the paint bob, uh, paintbrush tool, and I'm going to make sure that I have a normal brush, zero hardness at 10 pixels. Now we don't need this right now, but I'm getting it set for later, and you'll see why. Now, I'm going to go to the pen tool. Once you're at the pen tool, you want to make sure you go up to the top left here and you click on paths instead of shape layers. Shape layers is your default selection, but paths is what we're after. Next, go ahead and create a layer and simply name it glow effect. Once you've done that, move the layer palette back out of the way. Now, I'm going to start right here at his belly button. I'm going to click once and then I'm going to move up to the middle of his uh, or the top of his abs click and I'm going to drag to the left until the loop comes outside here by his body okay now remember when creating these you're going to skip every other um, line that goes behind him and in front of him so just keep that in mind now I'm gonna go ahead and do this again and this time I have him as so and now I'm going to come up here. Uh, I'll just go like this so that it's basically coming up over and around like this. And then I'll come around his arm like so. And we might need to go ahead and now uh, create the loop here and then the loop here create one there okay now we have our selection here it's not perfect but for this example tutorial it'll work we're going to go ahead and right click and go to stroke path make sure it's on brush and simulated pressure now when we set the paintbrush to 10 before 10 pixels that's what we've gone ahead and selected here that means um, because we have simulated pressure on the edges here on each end right here and right here it's going to be one pixel and it's going to slowly gradually go up to where we're in the middle right around here at 10 pixels and then back down kinda of like you're using an actual paintbrush so go ahead and hit OK and make sure your foreground color was set to white forgot to mention that and then you can go ahead and go to the paths and go ahead and delete this path and go back to your layers palette and you'll see here you have your a uh, cool little circle. Now right now it doesn't really look like it's going behind him because basically it's just on top of him. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete parts of this. I'm going to start with the bottom here and so this is the first line we're getting rid of, keeping the second, getting rid of this of this uh, this one here. Make the brush a little bit bigger. Be easier to delete it this way. Okay. So like that, keeping this one, getting rid of this one, keeping this one, and getting rid of this one here, and then keeping this one. And now you can see this is just a white glow all by itself, and you can already see it looks like it's wrapping around his body. Pretty cool, huh? All right, now let's go ahead and double click the glow effect layer. And we're going to start by making sure it's on color overlay, and we're going to set that to white. Go ahead and click on drop shadow. We're going to set it to about 10 on the distance and the spread. We're going to up that a little bit to probably around 20 would probably be good. Yeah, 20 is pretty good. Now, outer glow. This is your friend. This is where you decide what color you want your glow to be. I've already chosen uh, a lime green color for mine, and you can see here it's glowing. But what we want to do is we want to up that size a little bit something kind of about like 16 to 15 and put the spread at about 3 okay 
And there you go. We now have the glow going around our male model here. And we can, uh, I don't know why I had that text there. We can put some text on here and just put glow. And as you can see, if I put it off to the side here, it looks pretty good. We now have a completed image that looks really cool. So, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on how to do the glow effect in Photoshop. If you have any other tutorial ideas, be sure to let us know at pixelforlife.com or send us a message on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash pfltuts. You guys have a good day, and keep rocking the glow effect.